One of our most talented painters in St. Vincent is Peter Providence, and he very kindly invited us to his home to take a look at some of his recent work. Hi, Peter. Hi, Diane. Thank How are you? you? I'm very, very well. Thank you so much for inviting us out here to have a look at some you, of the work. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at some of these wonderful pieces in the middle here before we start talking a little bit more about yourself. Okay, sure. Um, tell us, well, I know straight away where that one is. Okay. Um, when you painted that one, did you actually go and stay there for a few hours and, and do it? Okay, no, I actually, I walked from a photograph, but uh, as I went about, I add certain features to add a bit of life to the picture. As you can see, there are some fine details, like you can see an, an al almond, the footprints in the sand, like there's a leaf on the wet sand and you can see the reflections, right? The birds flying in the distance, those things I, I, I add to add some life to the picture. But with such preciseness, such um, eye for detail, tell me, where did you learn such skills? Well, I learned from observing nature as I go about every day. I might look at the trees, um, the different colors. I might sit on the beach and look at the reflections in the sand. Okay. And I try to think how I can go about capturing those effects with, with paint. Now let's look uh, at the bottom one of the three. I think this is my favorite one. Okay. I mean, the, the, the sea is like a mirror. It just totally reflects everything. That's right. Around it. right. Peter, who taught you? Who well, taught you these wonderful skills? <laughs> well, I think the creator is the greatest artist. I observe his work. That's why I go to the beach. Okay. I pay attention to the details. As you can see in this picture, what I like about it, you can see this, the water just came in and it's gone back. Right. The sand is wet now. And you can see the little rocks reflecting, the distant rock and the trees the columns reflecting in the wet sand, right? And then again, the birds flying about. So I pay attention to the details in order to bring them up. Um, that implies that you're self-taught, because you, know, you still haven't told me who taught you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, by practice, practice, practice. I'm basically self-taught from an early age I've been painting. Favorite, and you said it's this lady here. Mm -hmm. um, has she got a name? No, not. I, I leave it up to individuals to give her a name because okay. for each person she might represent someone, right? right. But she looks quite serene. Mm, she? Right. So basically, what she she's doing is a lady, like you might see a grandmother. She's in her outside kitchen. You can see there's a coal pot mm -hmm. with a pot on the fire in the background. She has some green bananas, some breadfruit in her bucket and she's preparing some fish. So yes. we should, she, she's getting ready to make this meal in which we can all uh, identify with. I notice you've done them in pairs, an um, old lady and an old gentleman. Right. Do, you, uh, do you often wish when your paintings get sold that they'll get kept together? It's almost like they're, they're a pair. Yeah, some of them that I do as a pair, I will, they, they, they go well together, you know? So I would like to keep some that way. But this old man, I refer to him as the golden years. As you can see, the golden color in the picture, but immediately in front of him appears that. Right. It kind of signifies the uncertainty of life, the aches and pains okay. and so on. So, Almost like he's going into the unknown. Right, that, that's the concept. And finally, let's take a look at this delightful pair back here. I believe you guys named Richard. Right. This has to do with beauty. Huh? This one with the strong man lifting up the conch shell. I use the conch shell to represent beauty in, the, in my artwork. Okay. So I call this one the beauty of strength, right? Okay. Showing him strong man lifting up the shell. And the other one to it, I call this one the strength now of beauty. Like a, a shell and the lady walking to the, towards the shell and there's that attraction to the beauty. Either the shell or the lady. <laughs> Peter, you are truly amazing and, you know, I've looked at each of these, I know that these are just a, a small sample okay. of what you've done. You know, there are hundreds, of, well, maybe not hundreds <laughs> of paintings out there. How do you feel when they, when they go out? Do you want them to find a nice home? Yes, I, I would very much like that to be so and for other people to enjoy my work. That brings me great satisfaction too. Well, Peter, it's been a pleasure meeting okay, you. Thank you once again for inviting us out here and I wish you all the best for the future. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.